Number 15. Assuming that no equilibria other than dissolution are involved, calculate the concentration of all solute species in each of the following solutions of salts in contact with a solution containing a common ion. And then show that the changes in the initial concentrations of the common ions can be neglected. Okay, cool. So they tell us that we have silver uh, sulfate Ag2SO4 solid, and this is in 0.5 liters, 0 0.500 liters of a solution containing 19.50 grams of K2SO4. Okay, so we're starting off with Ag2SO4, and they told us that that's a solid, and this is going to dissolve dissolution, and it's going to dissolve into its two, um, two ions, right? This is solubility product. I went in the back of the textbook to find out what the KSP of the solid was, the Ag2SO4, and that's 1.2 times 10 to the negative 5. Now, we have to write a balanced equation that goes along with this KSP value, and that's only going to be the one that's a solid, not the one that you have actual, you know, your common ion in the solution. So let's go for it. Ag2SO4. This is going to be at equilibrium with our two ions. Well, what are they? Well, the split is between the Ag and the SO4, right? SO4, sulfate, that's a polyatomic we've seen time and time again. That never splits up. So we have Ag plus SO4. We need charges in the upper right-hand corner because they're ions. Remember that Ag is always going to be a plus one charge. It's one of those transition metals that only have one charge. And sulfate is always a negative two charge. And since we have charges, this is aqueous. So we have Aq, Aq. And now we just have to balance. But for silver, I have two of them. So I have to come over to my product side and say I have two. And then I have one SO4, one SO4. So we're good for now. Let's put this over to the side. The next thing we have to do, and maybe I'll just put this a little bit closer. Okay. The next thing we have to do is take the balanced equation and write the general KSP formula. Well, the general formula for KSP is this. It's just equal to the products raised to the coefficients because no solids allowed, so no reactants allowed. So in this case, my KSP would be equal to the concentration of the silver, Ag+, plus, times the concentration of the sulfate, and now just make sure that you're raising them to their coefficients. There's two AGs, so I have to take my AG concentration and square it. And then there was only one in front of the SO4, so I could raise it to the first, but that's the same thing as just nothing, right? Okay, so now KSP, that was 1.2 times 10 to the negative fifth, but we don't know what the concentrations of Ag plus 1 and SO4 2 minus. So now that's when I'm going to take in the information that I have. Now remember, these are concentration values. So concentration is the same as molarity. And remember, molarity is moles divided by liters. So the first thing is that I have to convert this 0 0.500 liters of the 19.50 grams into moles divided by liters, right? We have the liter portion, that's 0 0.500. Now we just have to find out what the moles are. But that's easy, right? Moles to grams. Let's just do that conversion right here. 19.50 grams of K2SO4 times by the ratio. Actually, we could, this is just back to basics, right? So moles of K2SO4, we don't have to do dimensional analysis. We could do the little tricks. Remember, grams to moles is always dividing by the molar mass. So I'm going to look on the periodic table to find out what that molar mass is. And I'll put the number on the bottom. So K2SO4, let's see, 39.1 times 2 plus a sulfur, 32.06 plus four oxygens, four times 16. So I'm gonna take 19.50 and divide it by 174.26. So 19.5 divided by that number. And this is not the answer yet, 
So I'll, I'll keep a couple of sig figs there. Point one, 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 nine. Yeah, three, three ones and then a nine. And that's going to go on my top number. Zero point one, 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 nine moles. Okay. So point, point one, 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 nine divided by point five is, and maybe I will set this up now. So I have K2, SO4, and now I have a molarity of 0 0.2238 molarity. Okay, so pause the video if you need to. I'm just going to get rid of this part because we have way more math to do. So bye-bye to that. And now we say, okay, K2SO4. Is this aqueous or a solid? Well, we have K, that's group one. Any ionic compound with a group one ion is always going to be aqueous, no exceptions. So K2SO4 is an aqueous compound, which means that it's going to dissociate into its two ions. And then the break between uh, the K2SO4, right, is potassium. And then the sulfur, or the sulfate, the SO4, Group 1 plus 1, SO4 minus 2. These are aqueous and aqueous. And now just balance it, right? There were two potassiums, so I'm good, just going to put a 2 in the front of the K. And then I have 1 sulfur, right, for every one of these. So we're good with that. Now we're going to find out which one of these is the common ion. And I'm just going to put a 1 here and highlight these. Out of your potassium and your sulfate, which is the common ion? Meaning, which ion is the same for the both equations? It's the sulfate. So, in essence, I don't really care what's going on with the potassium. I just want to know what's going on with the sulfate. And since K2SO4 is a one-to-one -one relationship, whatever number this is, this has to be the same number. 0 0.2238 molarity. And this is what you start with for AG2SO4. And if we say that this is a initial concentration, that's what you start with, we have to do an ice table. I know. I know. So ice it up. Let's go for it. Let's just pull this a little bit down way down. Okay, beautiful. So remember, solids, nobody cares about it in terms of your ice table, so just cross this whole thing off. That's fine with me. You started off now with 0 0.2238 molarity. Did you start off with any Ag? No, so that's a zero. Remember, change is either plus x's or minus x's, but since you started off with nothing for your Ag+, plus, you can only go up from there. So this would be plus 2x. I have to keep those coefficients together. So 2 goes with 2. And then this one would be just plus 1x. But plus 1x is the same thing as x. I'm just going to say that. And then your equilibrium, remember, you just group the two of them together. So 0 plus 2x is a 2x. 0 uh, 0.2238 plus x is 0 0.2238 plus x. And these are now your numbers that you're going to be plugging into your KSP. So AG is going to be 2x, and the SO4 is going to be 0 0.2238 plus uh, x. But now here's the thing, guys. We want to see if that change can be neglected in your initial concentration, meaning that since this KSP is so small, that means that the change, the x values, are probably going to be really small too. So if we started off with a roughly a big number and the change is much smaller than that, I can basically get rid of this value. Just makes the math easier. We're going to do the 5% rule at the end just to see if we can, you know, do this little quick thing over here. So I have 2x squared 
times 0 0.2238. Let's do the 2x squared first. Remember, 2x squared is 2x times 2x, which is 4x squared. I'm now going to multiply the 0 0.2238 times 4. And I get 1.2 times 10 to the negative fifth equals 0 0.89 five two x squared. Now we're just doing, you know, algebra, right? 0 0.8952 divided by 0 0.8952 on both sides. And we get x squared equals, or maybe I'll keep that on the other side just to keep everything together. 1.2 times 10 to the negative fifth divided by this answer. A big number, 1.340483 times 10 to the negative fifth equals x squared. Let's do the square root because we want to get x by itself. And finally, 1.340483. Times 10 to the negative fifth. Now I'll put it in two, uh, we'll say three sig figs. So 3.66 times 10 to the negative third molarity. Now, let's just make sure that this obeys the 5% rule. What we're going to do is we're just going to take the answer that we got. So 3.66 times 10 to the negative third and divide it by the initial 0 0.2238 and multiply that by 100. If this is 5 or less, we were allowed to assume. So 3.66 times 10 to the negative third divided by 0 0.2238 times 100. And yeah, I get like 1.6%. So this obeys the 5% rule. So maybe I'll say 5% rule with a check. What kind of check was that? There we go. And now let me just erase this math. Okay, now we're coming with the answer. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these x values and plug it in to our two equilibrium values. And maybe I will just do that on this side. Here we go. So we got, actually I'll do that in black. Okay, so we have AG. Keep in mind, remember, AG was two times that X value. So I say two times 3.66 times 10 to the negative third. So I get 0 0.00732 as my molarity for that one. And then we say 0 0.2238 plus that X value, 0.2238 plus... 3.66 times 10 to the negative third. And this would be SO4. Nobody cares about sig figs. 0 0.22. Two, two. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having too much fun. Um, I guess 0.227. But that's fine. And there's your two answers. Those are your concentration values. And we are done. Okay. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel to help us out. Thank you so much for that. And I will talk to you all in later lessons. Okay. Bye-bye.